Hi everyone and welcome to the Back 40 Feet where we talk about suburban, urban, and patio gardening. Today I'm going to talk about scale, which is an insect that can be very parasitic on some of your plants. It's early June and I am moving my house plants outside and that's including my fig tree and my bay tree. I have found that they're very sticky and are sh have a su shiny substance on them and looking closer at them I have found scale insects. Here you can see the scale insects. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and those bumps that are on there you know when you first look at them they don't look like insects but you'll see that there's a pattern that they're following right along the vein of uh, my fig tree so that they can get the maximum amount of nutrients out of the fig tree which is why the leaf is turning yellow what you'll also see i'll zoom in even a little bit more is that you see a shine on the leaves what this is is honeydew as some people will call it there you can see it's actually not water it is a sticky sugary substance that is excreted by these scales uh, sometimes the first symptom you might have of scale is that you'll start to see ants crawling all over your trees or your plants and they're doing this because the honeydew is sugary and they're after the sugar so that is often a sign that it's not the ants causing disease of your fig tree it's probably a uh, scale or potentially some other insects like aphids or spider mites or mealybugs. My bay tree was next to my fig tree and it is also infected. Here you can see again right along right along this vein um, those bugs. When you have honeydew on your plants in addition to seeing symptoms like the ants you can also start to see a fungus develop because of the sugar in that substance will attract different fungi. So it's really important not only to kill the scale, but to treat the, the honeydew as well. This is my go-to as an organic gardener for treating scale. This is neem oil and it's a spray that you'll apply and it kills the scale um, by coating the scale, but it will also function as a fungicide. So as the plant is in a weakened state from being attacked from the scale, I'm preventing fungus from infecting my plants. Typically, I would treat once a week, so every seven days, with the oil. Um, and then once it appears that the uh, infestation is gone, you can drop that down to every two weeks. When I spray this oil on my plants, I'm going to thoroughly saturate the leaves, uh, pretty much so that the oil is dripping off. And it's really important to make sure that you also get the underside of the leaves to help protect your weakened plants from a fungal infection. Neem oil is an extract from the Margosa tree, so it is a biologic treatment and it does not harm beneficial insects, which is another reason I use it. If you didn't have neem oil and needed to treat your plants, a couple of other options include insecticidal soap, or you can make your own insecticidal soap by getting a mild dishwashing detergent and just adding some water and spray. These had been house plants in the winter, so the other op option is I could have just put them in the, the bathtub and given them a dip in some uh, soapy water. They have smooth leaves. I could also uh, manually wash the leaves with some soapy water and try to dislodge the insects as well. And lastly, you could make your own oil with about a half a teaspoon of vegetable oil to a quart of water and use that to almost like polish your leaves a little bit. And that will help to mechanically remove and suffocate any remaining insects that are on your plants. When I apply the neem oil, I will keep the plants out of direct sun after the application. I don't want anything wet, whether it's oil or water, on my leaves in direct sun. So I could do that by either applying the oil sort of later in the evening, and that gives sort of the, the night for it to drip off and the plant to 
to dry off. Alternatively, I could just put the plants in the shade. I will like to put the plants at some point in the sun, uh, maybe the day after the application, because sunlight is the best fungicide that can be out there. It really is very effective in helping to protect my plants um, and also to help strengthen the plants after they've been stressed from this in insect infestation. It is 10 days later after treating my bay tree with the neem oil and I'm not seeing any evidence at all of the scale and the leaves are no longer sticky from the honeydew so I think this was an effective treatment. Uh, my fig tree still needs a little bit more treatments uh, but one down one to go, right?